were on it. Now I understand they're playing games. They don't want to put in their articles, their ridiculous, phony, <coughs> fraudulent articles. Uh, and I think uh, they're not allowed to do that. Uh, here it's unconstitutional and a lot of other things, but they don't want to put them in because they're ashamed of them because it's uh, — what they've done is wrong, and it's bad for the country, very, very bad for the country. We're trying to get USMCA done. We're going to get that done, I think, pretty quickly. We have our great deal with China. China's already started to buy with the farmers and with the manufacturers. Tremendous amounts of money are being spent back in the United States, and the farmers are happy. They had to put up with a lot, but we took care of them out of the subsidies that we were getting, out of the — out of the tariffs that we were getting. But China is now buying very big in the farm belt and in the manufacturing belt also. Uh, they're spending a lot of money. And I said it was going to happen, and it happened. And uh, we're going to get a lot more. Uh, they want to make — they want to keep going. They're still paying tremendous amounts of tariffs. And they'd like to have the tariffs reduced, and we'll see if we can get a second part of the deal. But the USMCA, the combination of those two deals, will be the two greatest trade deals. You'll never see anything like it. So we've done uh, very much what we said. You know, Jeff, we rebuilt our military. We spent almost two and a half trillion dollars on the military. <clears throat> when we came in, the military was totally depleted. I will say the Democrats did not help. They're not into the military at all. And we spent two and a half trillion. We have new planes. We have new everything right now. Uh, much of it's coming over the next year, but within a year we'll be in a position that we've never been in in terms of equipment, and the military will be as strong as it ever was proportionally, maybe stronger. So it's been an amazing period of time, and to have you is a, a tremendous asset for the party. And thank you. again, thank you very much. Thank friend. you. We're with you all the way. Thank you. Thank you. I'm with you. Tremendous Can honor. Thank you. Well, I don't feel like I'm being impeached, because uh, it's a hoax. It's a setup. It's a horrible thing they did. They happened to have a small majority, and they took that small majority, and they forced people. And, you know, they said, oh, I watched Pelosi out there saying, oh, no, we don't want to talk to anybody. They put the arm on everybody. They tried to get them to do what they had to do. Many of those people were like Jeff, where they didn't want to vote that way. But it doesn't feel — to me, it doesn't feel like impeachment. Last night, I said it. I, I, we had a great time last night. The room was packed. Thousands of people couldn't get in. Uh, a section that really is a pretty much 50-50 section in terms of Democrat-Republican. Uh, we had — every one of those people is voting for Trump-Pence, every one of them. And it's Michigan, an important state. We brought back tremendous amounts of business, tremendous car companies coming in, everything else. And I'll tell you, I was up there, and I was thinking about it. I actually said it. It doesn't feel like impeachment. And you know what? It's a phony deal. And they cheapen the word impeachment. It's an ugly word, but they cheapen the word impeachment. Uh, that should never again happen to another president. And I think you'll see some very interesting things happen over the coming few days and weeks. But to me, all I look at, we have the greatest economy in the history of our country. We've never done so well. Our military being rebuilt. You take a look at the tax cuts. You take a look at the regulation cuts at levels that nobody's ever seen. We're protecting our Second Amendment, which other people won't do. You know, we're doing things that nobody's ever done before, nobody's ever seen. We have the strongest economy in the history of our country, and our country is doing well. And, you know, the other thing that I really saw from yesterday that I think you people have been covering politics for a long time, you've never seen a Republican Party Zero negative votes. Zero. That hasn't happened almost ever, because the Republicans are not necessarily known for that. We have better policy. They want open borders, the Democrats. They want sanctuary cities. A lot of bad things happen. A lot of other things they have. We're doing tremendously on health care. The individual mandate, you know, we won yesterday in Supreme Court. You saw that in uh, the appellate division. Uh, we won yesterday. Uh, individual mandate is now gone. Th that's tremendous savings. That was the worst part of Obamacare. Uh, we take care of pre-existing conditions. They're not going to be able to do that. We're doing things that nobody's ever done before, and our country has never done better. So we're really happy about it. And we're really happy to have Jeff on board. And we think in 2020, based on the polls, I just saw 
A poll came out in USA Today yesterday where I'm beating every candidate by a lot. I guess most of you saw it. Not that USA Today is a friend of mine, because they're not. But they had a poll, and it was uh, me against their top candidates on the other side. And I'm beating everybody by a lot. And I think that's where we're going. I mean, we have the best economy in history. And uh, if you remember the famous quote, it's all about the economy, stupid. Well, I don't — I never believed it was all about the economy. But the economy is a big thing. When you have 401ks, where people are up 70, 80, 90, and even more than that percent, uh, they like Trump, and they like Mike, and we're going to have a good time. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Can you tell us a little bit about your strategy for the Senate trial? We think that uh, what they did is wrong. We think that what they did is unconstitutional, and the Senate is very, very capable. Uh, we have great senators, Republican senators. We cut your taxes. We cut your regulations. We did things that nobody else would even think about being able to do. And I think — you know, one of the things, Jeff, that we've done that nobody wants to talk about, this week I will have signed the 172nd federal judge, including appellate judges. We'll have 182 by the end of the year. 182. It's unheard of. Now, President Obama was very nice to us. He gave us 142 empty positions. That's never happened before. But as you know, that's said to be the most important thing that a president has. I happen to think military and defense and all of is the most important thing. But this is right up there. We'll have 172 judges. We're going to have 182 by the end of the year or shortly thereafter. And it's the most incredible thing. And two Supreme Court justices, two great ones. So with all of the things we've done, and we've done that with the Senate, because what's never said is that in the last election, we picked up two Senate seats. Nobody talks about that. And we couldn't focus on the House. I couldn't focus on the House. We'll be very focused on the House this time. But I couldn't, other than Andy Barr, who won against the same candidate that's now going against Mitch, and she wasn't very good against Andy Barr, and she won't be very good against Mitch McConnell. But we've had uh, tremendous success, uh, so I'm going to let them decide what to do. That's going to be up to them. Thank you all very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I think so, yeah. He's doing a great job. Pat. Yeah. Yes. It looks like that, yeah. Pat Cipollone. We have a couple of others uh, that we're going to put in, but Pat's been fantastic as White House counsel. Thank you, everybody. Mr. President, we have to apologize to you. Mr. President, Mr. President, do you regret your comments about Congress and Jean Claude's press? Mr. President, let's go. Keep going. Mr. President, let's go. Mr. President, let's go. Mr. President, let's go. Mr. President, we got to vote on USMCA. Come on, let's go. Move out. Thank you guys. Press, move. Come on. Still? No. Yeah. 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 Yeah.